Hello my scrappy friends, it is Jess here from the Scrappy Sisters and thank you for joining me for a Kidaholics Kids Design Team Layout. Now you all should know by now that I love to take a piece of paper, cut it up, distress it and then stick it back together. And that's exactly what I am doing with this wood grain with gold foil herringbone paper because it is cute but I felt like it just needed a little something something. So I have cut these strips as they were intended, as they were designed on the page. I cut those down. Um, I did trim off a teeny bit of extra, like, I don't even know, not even five mil, like just a tiny bit off the top and off one of the sides, just to make sure when I'm putting it back together, there's a little bit of white space that will show through from the backing paper and this is again one of the papers in the kit as well that I'm using behind once I have stuck all these down of course I realize that I haven't spaced them properly so I do go ahead and pick them back up and space them back out again just to make them a little bit more um, evenly spaced with an equal spread of the white space around the edges because I'm a perfectionist and keeping that super cute herringbone pattern and trying to spread out the gold as well. I don't want all the gold in the same place. So once that is done, it is time to get playing. I did keep this layout super simple. I just feel like the backing paper with the herringbone is quite, um, I want to use the word rich. I don't know if that's an appropriate word to use when you're talking about paper and colors, but that is the word that pops into my brain. And I don't want to overdo it with the embellishments. So I have two photos. I have four photos, but I have two photos in the cluster from the start of this activity that the kids are doing we are dismantling their swing set and then we have two photos that are actually not very good quality photos I'm taking them through the window in my bedroom through the fly screen through everything um, because the boys were building a secret cubby house and they were working so beautifully together uh, I didn't want to disturb them so I didn't want to go out and you know interrupt them while they were playing so as you can see, I've picked all the stickers and bits and pieces that I'm using there on the right hand side. I actually created this layout while I was away on holidays, but I don't have my streaming set up or my recording set up. So I just kind of saved it all and bought it home and I'm going to put it all together on camera for you now. That little um, bulldog clip at the top of the photo, this where I am now, that is actually from our Vicky Booten collection, our kit that we got quite a little while ago. I just found it randomly on the floor of my craft room. So it must have fallen out of something or maybe it's been there the whole time and I just never noticed. But I picked it up and just stuck it on my page because it was kind of cute and it worked for this. So I rolled with it. So I'm just going with some fun play building adventure. I did put the tent on. I know this isn't a tent, but it's a cubby and it was cute. And I didn't take photos, but at one stage they did bring out blankets and things like that as well. That was before it all came crashing down and landed on Jack's head. Um, wish I was joking. <laughs> but... Then, sorry, I got distracted by what I'm up to. So obviously sticking my stickers to the back of that packaging had pros and cons. It was a good idea because the stickers didn't get lost, but they kind of stuck a bit too hard. So some of them are getting a bit losing their stickiness when I'm pulling them up. So I'm having to adhere my own sticky onto them as well. Oh, well, you win some, you lose some. So I'm almost finished with sort of designing the layout now with all the ephemera bits and bobs. And then I'm going to put on a few more of those super cute little enamel stickers that came from the Cocoa Vanilla Studios collection because they're cute. I have used a variety of all the stickers with this layout from the 12 by 12 sticker sheet as well as the ephemera pack as well as the Cocoa Vanilla Studios sticker sheet because it is all so cute and all that orange just works so well in together. For some reason when I pulled that last sticker the like adhesive part stayed on the 12 by 6 um paper and it wasn't sticky at all totally random so i built a cup uh, built my name i was trying to come up with something like punny and clever but i really just had nothing left in my brain so i just went with cubby building it is what it is <laughs> i i even asked katie and she's like mate 
my brain's not not here either we've had a very sleepless few nights with our munchkins being rat bags so we're just rolling with cubby building and then I've put on my little enamel dots and now I am going to add some splatters of course Steph is getting us with that mixed gold again in this um, collection with the gold foiling on the paper but the silver lettering in the thickers so I'm going to use both I am splattering on some gold splatters now and then here we go with the silver splatters um, which is just so, super fun embracing the double metal I say then here are some close-up photos i really love the way this layout came together and this was such a fun kit to work with with all of my boy based layouts seeing as i have two little boys myself thank you so much for watching i hope you have enjoyed my layouts for this month and i'll see you all next month bye everyone